Hello and welcome back to the Shifting Schools podcast. This episode is based on a request from a listener like you. Jeff and I absolutely love getting listener requests for episodes. So I am really excited to let you know that this episode is topical and timely. We had a listener reach out in response to one of this year's past free guides. That free guide is entitled Exploring Our Relationship with Social Media. This listener reached out and they said, listen, Trisha and Jeff, I love how you helped start some important conversations in my class about the ideal relationship students would like to have with social media. And I was thinking it might be useful to have a little bit of guidance to help my students, to help myself make a plan heading in to the summer break to think more critically about how we would like to use our social media. And we know, again, uh, this is a time where lots of different things are going on in schools. So instead of an entire free guide, What we decided to do was actually come up with a one page free downloadable planner. Now, this planner is going to invite you and your students to think about a few pivotal shifts you might make. And we wanted to give this planner an acronym. So the acronym is BALANCE. Let me tell you what each letter stands for. The B stands for boundaries. When we're talking about boundaries, we're really thinking about what one new boundary we each might set for our use of social media. We're asking the question, with whom might you co-create boundaries? I don't know about you, but I have a few folks in my network where uh, we ping each other a lot on Twitter. So might I agree with one of those colleagues Hey, for the week of the second week of July, let's agree to take some time off of that. Might that be a boundary? Might we set a goal that stacks a new boundary on an existing one for every week of the summer? My wife and I have a boundary around our use of our phones leading up to bedtime. We know that it's not helpful for us to get a good night's sleep if we're on our devices the 30 minutes prior to. So we really try to make sure that phones are off at least an hour before we're heading to bed. And this has me thinking about additional boundaries that I might wanna stack on top of that one. I don't know about you, but I notice if I hop on my phone straight away in the morning, if I'm scrolling through the news, it's not really the best way for me to start my day. So I'm thinking this summer too, of creating a boundary that I do not, uh, that I basically don't hop right on my phone first thing in the morning. Maybe the first 45 minutes is screen free. The A in our balance acronym stands for assign an intention. Before you go online, how often do you actually take a moment to think about what you're going online for? So this shift asks us to really think before we log into an app, before we open that app up on our phone, to ask the critical question, what am I going here for? The L stands for limit apps and notifications. Now, if you have a lot of apps and you have a lot of apps that notify you, that ping you and let you know you've got a new message, Uh, there's something else to check out, what might be a reasonable goal for you this summer? Do you want to cut that number in half? Do you want to shave one or two or three off of that number? Again, for each of us, uh, we have our own dynamic, our own relationship with our apps and our social media. But what might it mean to try and set a new limit? What might it mean as a household for you to hold to that number? Is it each of you is going to try to cut out two apps? Remove two apps off your phone and experiment with that? 
And again, I should mention, it doesn't have to be for the whole summer. You might try as a friendship group or as a household to cut back on two just for a week and see how that felt. The A stands for arrange and rearrange. What difference might you notice just by simply moving some of your apps around on your phone? I have noticed actually, uh, one thing I've done is I've taken the app for my local library and I've put that up first on my home screen and I've pushed all of my social media apps off that home screen just to create a little more friction so that I have to think even for an additional moment. Do I need to be on Twitter right now? Do I need to be looking at TikTok videos right now? The N stands for notice your emotions. What reminders can you make visible to help you check in with how you are feeling before, during, and after spending time on social media? Now, that might mean actually that you take this free one pager, print it out. Have it in a few different spaces. Let family members in your house know that you're trying to work through a few shifts of your use of social media this summer. So have this visible just so that it reminds you to really be aware of how you are feeling when you're using these apps. The C stands for consider ways to experiment with tech-free breaks. It might mean experimenting with the idea that one meal every day is tech free. It might mean experimenting with one afternoon, one day of one week is tech free. It might mean experimenting with a full weekend. It might mean that you look to stack and build on experiments every week of the summer. I highly recommend you try to bring a collaborator into that experiment process. This way you've got a built-in accountability partner. The last part of our acronym, the E, is to emphasize curiosity. How might you encourage more conversations about your use of social media within your house or your friendship group? We really hope, actually, that this menu of seven different shifts to play out with helps do some of the heavy lifting there and inspiring some conversations. So when you download this free, consider passing it on to two or three friends and invite them to go ahead and take this on as sort of a challenge alongside with you. But we want you to emphasize curiosity because we know sometimes when we are trying to adjust a routine or a practice, we might have a week actually where it's not possible for us to do that. And that's okay. What about the following week? Where can you try to make an adjustment in that next attempt? So this one pager is designed to be printable because we'd invite you to print it out, invite your students or their families to print it out, set three goals for the summer. There's a space to do that. And then there is a space for you to debrief at the end of the summer as well. So folks, we hope this free one pager helps set you up to think a little bit about how the summer might be an ideal time to renegotiate the relationship that you have with social media. If you feel like you've got a great relationship with social media, is this a window of time to make it even better? If you're not feeling so great about that relationship that you have with social media, might this be an opportunity for you to try to make just a few tiny tweaks to see if that helps you get a little bit closer to a better relationship. Now, at the top of the episode, you heard me mention a free guide entitled Exploring Our Relationship with Social Media. That free guide, the link to that is over there in the show notes as well. We've got some great conversation starters. I would say that that free guide actually works really well with this one pager. So if you have not yet explored that free guide, we'd encourage you to do so. Now, last piece of information, I do want to let you know that we are coming up on the final few days for you to register for our three-month generative AI cohort at the early bird price. The three-month generative AI cohort 
is kicking off this August, but the early bird price is on now. For just $175 US dollars, you get to join Jeff and I for August, September, and October. That includes three different webinars. It includes a ready to roll resource every month. It gives you a breakdown on key monthly updates and news reviews. We will be carefully curating that so you don't have to read all of them. We're going to give you a few prompts every month to try out with, and you'll be able to join our special asynchronous Slack group. We are limiting this cohort to just 50 participants, and that is so that Jeff and I can connect with the participants to make sure that each of those webinars is addressing your needs and your questions. So again, that early bird price is on now until June 10th only. The link to learn more is in the show notes. See you again next Monday.